All right, this video is on your basic integration rules. Let's see, here we go. All right, so the inverse nature of integration and differentiation can basically be verified by substituting f prime for f in the indefinite integration. So if we say that the, the integral of f prime dx equals f plus c, this means that if we take the integral of a derivative, we just get the function plus c. Also, we can do this the other way. We can say that the derivative of an integral gets us back to f of x. So it's really important that we see that these are inverses of each other, okay? Which means to do one, we undo the other. So let's look at our basic uh, differentiation rules, right? The derivative of a constant is zero. Therefore, the integral of zero is a constant, right? These are just backwards of each other. Here, the derivative of kx is just k, because you just take the, the number in front of x, which means that the integral of k equals kx plus c. Don't forget the plus c, right? That uh, integration is very important, that uh, constant of integration. The derivative of k times a function is equal to k times the derivative of a function. Therefore, the integral of k times a function is equal to k times the integral of a function. We can pull the k out. That's all it tells us. Con a constant can always be pulled out. The derivative of a sum or difference is just the sum or difference of the individual individual derivatives. This applies as well to the integral. The integral of a sum and difference is just the individual sum and differences of those integrals. Here is your most non-trig related important differentiation formula, right? n times x to the n minus 1, right? We just take the n out front, subtract by 1. To undo this, if we integrate this, we would need to add by 1 and divide by that number to get rid of the n. So over here, what you'll see is the integral of x to the n. We add 1 to the integral, to the, uh, not the integral, the uh, exponent, and then we divide by that new number. Example, the uh, integral of x squared dx, we add 1, so it becomes x cubed, and then we divide by the 3 and tack on the plus c. The only time this does not work is for the integral of 1 over x, because that gives us uh, 1 over, if we add 1, we get 0, uh, we can't divide by 0, right? That would be x to the negative 1, we add 1, we get x to 0, we divide by 0, we get a bah, bah. no, no, no. So we have this little rule here that you cannot use negative 1. We have a different formula for uh, the integral of 1 over x. Now we're going to do basically the exact same thing with our trig function. So if the derivative of sine is cosine, then the integral of cosine is sine. If the derivative of cosine is negative sine, then the integral of sine is negative cosine. Derivative of tangent is secant squared, therefore the integral of secant squared is tangent. Derivative of secant is secant tan, the integral of secant tan is secant. The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. Therefore, the integral of cosecant squared is negative cotangent. The derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. Therefore, the integral of cosecant cotangent is negative cosecant. Not forgetting the plus c's all the way around. All right, so let's actually do our first real integral. So we want to know what is the integral of 3x dx. So here we have x to some value, so we're going to add 1. Now, you can pull that 3 out and say, well, this is 3 times the integral of x dx. But just like doing the derivative, there's really no point in it. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the 3x, add 1 to the exponent, and divide by 2 plus c. See, all I did was raise my exponent to 2 and divide by that number. The 3 was a constant, so it just stayed there. That's all you got to do. Now, Basically, the pattern of integration is going to follow the same general rule as differentiation. You start with your original integration. You rewrite it if you need to so that you have it in terms of x to some power. You integrate and then you simplify. So if you have any questions about this one or, or any of the stuff in the basic integration rules, just shoot me a reminder or ask a question in class.